Alrighty, let's see here if we can find... Oh, our way into... Oh, an energy bar! Good. Find our way into the pharmacy to get our pills. Not what an energy bar is going to do for me. Uh, why would I want to give this chick an energy bar? Let's talk to her first. You're a pretty good shot. Yeah, so am I. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially <laughs> one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Hey, I'm with you, honey. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. <laughs> I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. You don't hear, often hear that term applied to women. I don't know why. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. <laughs> He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Oh, how sweet. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Okay. Flip the radio over. Let's do that. Probably needs batteries. Can't get it to work. No have you checked the batteries? Jeez, what, honey. You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm trying to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Okay, well, that's a good start. Let's see if she wants an energy bar hey, in place of her coffee. Find it some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, oh, give it to why her. Why did it let me I can offer take it care to of myself. her? Oh well. Okay. All right, what's over here on the cork board? Easter egg hunt, good. Uh, that wasn't very helpful. Hey, man, hang on, let me get another good look. Easter egg hunt, IT guy. Okay, why did it even let me look at that? I don't know. Let's talk to Doug. Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> no. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. I want to go hang out. Uh, uh. What, are you crazy? Um, yeah, sure. I guess. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Okay. Hope this is not a, like, no going back kind of thing here. Ew. That one's missing most of his face. Creepy. That's nasty. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Do you think? Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay. I can't can get a br that brick. Okay, well, is there a long stick I might could use to pull it towards me? No, oh, of course not. All right, fine. Come back with a crowbar or something. TV store. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. <clears throat> Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. It's a combination lock. Well, I sure as hell don't want to unlock it. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Trapped walker. Trapped Better hear uh, hmm. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, we'll what? be opening the door and going guy? and getting his key. Uh, let's see. 
He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy <coughs> keys. Yeah, shouldn't have pointed that out. Oh well. No. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, Doc. <laughs> Look at the uniform though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove Why can't you ever barricade yourself in, I don't know, a gun store or at least a pawn shop? I can find. Police station. Okay, let's talk to Doug. How'd you end up here? Moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time on the computer. <laughs> just doing anything. I don't know but anybody I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I grew up I here. Grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then. <laughs> I did. Good people. Okay, can't reach the brick. I don't think I want to talk to Doug anymore right now. I want to go back Let's inside. Head back inside. Okay. We'll come back in a minute. Hardware store would have been nice. Lots of weapons. If you played Dead Rising, you know hardware stores are definitely the place to be. They have chainsaws, and, uh, oh, what else? You can even use a rake as a weapon if you need to. Good stuff. Oh, greeting cards, those will be useful. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> Photographs. <sighs> okay, that was meaningful. Batteries! Yay! Hmm. More I photographs. Don't remember them very well. It's probably we a good let thing. Anything happened to Ducky? I know, hon. Okay. How you doing over here, Platypus? Hey, Maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. <laughs> Just the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Okay, how's Doug? Doug? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? <sighs> She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. <sighs> What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in, and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Well, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. It's kind of interesting. You're spending your time trying to answer questions. You don't actually know the answers to said questions. You're trying yeah. to decide if you're actually you lying or telling that. the truth in giving said answers. Hands, you know? Kind of strange. Let's see. It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. 
You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Well, that's cheerful. Oh, there's more energy bars. That's good. Okay. Now, I really wanted to talk to Clementine. Where did she go? More energy bars. There's gotta be something more nutritious than that around here. Okay, I really don't want to talk to Jackass right now. I'd rather... Talk to Clementine. We just she was to here a minute ago. I know she was. We'll do our damnedest. Confused. <sighs> hmm. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Alright, we'll keep walking around, see if I can find her. <sighs> it's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lee, Lily, and Larry. I was just doing what I had what to. What lovely remember. alliteration. Was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before. I say dad, we let him die. That didn't help. <laughs> well, your dad's an asshole. Sorry, honey. <sighs> what do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. <laughs> he He's does have a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> It's just that... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. <laughs> Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Well, that's right. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sounds lucky. familiar, doesn't it, baby? Yeah. You? Sounds like I my job. <laughs> well, you used to. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We but found you said an you old barely remembered in the them. office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Is the guy doing Lee's voice, Drebin, from Metal Gear Solid 4? Could be. You're gonna have to look him up. I don't know. This is a familiar voice. All right, I think I'm going to take a little break now. I've got a nice hot steaming cup of tea that I'm going to drink. <laughs> 